Welcome back. Now we're in module 2.4 and we're actually ready to do subtraction of polynomial expressions. Now, this is the really cool thing. We never do the operation of subtraction in algebra. According to our definition from first grade, subtraction means to add the opposite. Therefore, every subtraction statement should be rewritten as addition. Now you're going to say, why would we do that? We would do that because physically speaking, it would make more sense. So if you look at your PowerPoint, my first expression is 5 minus negative 3. Technically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, that statement doesn't make any sense. And think about it going back to the number line. If we had a number line in front of us, we would start at 5 because that's our first number, 5. We know minus means to go to the left. So we'd start at 5 and we would go to the left. But people, can you go to the left negative 3 positions? No, you cannot. So what you need to understand is we never are really ever going to do subtraction. Subtraction can only always get changed into addition. Because we're going to apply the definition we learned in the previous video that says Addition is the additive inverse. So when we do subtraction, we're really just going to add the opposite. So 5 minus negative 3. We're going to leave the first number 5. We're going to change the minus to addition. And then whatever's behind that subtraction symbol will become the opposite. And the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So the statement 5 minus negative 3 really means 5 plus a positive 3. And now if you think about that statement, we can do that on a number line. I could start at 5, plus means to go to the right, and I can go to the right positive 3 spots. And that would put me at 8. So the moral of the story is, it's real simple. We are never going to perform the operation of subtraction. If we have a subtraction symbol in our expression, we're going to change it to what operation? That's right, we're going to change it to addition. And when we change subtraction to addition, any terms behind the subtraction symbol become the opposite, the additive inverse. So we look at our next statement, 5 minus positive 3. What that statement's really saying is, I'm starting at 5, I want to subtract a positive 3. Well, I can rewrite that, not as subtraction, I can rewrite it as addition. And when I rewrite it as addition, it becomes 5 plus, there's the addition, and I make whatever term is behind the opposite. So that would really be 5 plus a negative 3. And if 5 is positive and 3 is negative, I subtract and I get a 2. And that's what we're going to plot. So the moral of the story is, again, for the last time, anytime we're doing subtraction and we see a subtraction symbol between two terms, we're always going to change subtraction into what operation? Addition. And once we change that subtraction to addition, every term behind it will become the opposite. And what do you call the opposite? The additive inverse. All right, in our next video, we'll actually apply this knowledge. I'll see you then.